Every organ in the body plays a vital role to keep us going, but few of us are even aware how important the kidneys are. Bones can break, muscles can atrophy, glands can malfunction, even the brain can take a break without any immediate danger to survival. But should the kidneys fail, neither bones, muscles, glands nor brain could carry on. Fortunately, most kidney problems can be averted if only detected early. A simple test can do that for you, and it costs just a fraction of the treatment for kidney diseases. This is where Balaji Medical and Educational Trust comes in. The Balaji Medical Educational Trust was founded in 1997 by like-minded people to help patients with kidney disease. The trust was initially started to help unfortunate patients with kidney problem who have to undergo lifelong treatment. And this involves very often complicated tests, medications, dialysis, maybe kidney transplantation. On an average, the patient would spend 20 to 25 lakhs over a period of 10 to 15 years. Though I have saved to a reasonable level in my life, but the expenses I am facing on dialysis and on the renal problem is phenomenal. I will even go to the extent of saying it can shatter your confidence in life and also give you endless torture on how to face the future. The trust initially has been uh, helping patients with kidney disease, trying to subsidize dialysis, give them drugs, give them free consultations. But this can be done for a very small percentage of the patients. Subsequently, the trust planned to have a hospital. Again, this can cater maybe to a small population alone. So ultimately, we decided that we should take the community as a whole and try to prevent this unfortunate disease. I had a severe shortening of breath and I couldn't speak at night and I had a breathing problem and I had a severe cough. I just went to a doctor uh, in my place and I saw, he told me that uh, that I have a hypertension. He asked me to go and join a hospital, admit in a hospital. And they told me that uh, that I had a kidney problem. After diagnosing me, told me that I have a severe chronic kidney disease. The chronic kidney disease is often asymptomatic. As the word chronic implies, it's a long-standing disease which is present in the body, usually for more than six months. Because it has been present for long in the body, it is irreversible and not symptomatic. The body adapts itself and the patient does not have any symptoms. So a person with chronic kidney disease can work normally, can live normally without any symptoms. It's possible to detect chronic kidney disease at this stage only by looking at the urine for a protein loss. So the kidneys are made up of a number of 1 million nephrons of, on each side and when these nephrons are damaged, protein leaks into the urine. So a simple test of estimating the protein in the urine, which can be done by a strip or by a simple heat test, which can even be done in a small village, can detect protein in the urine. That is the first marker of a kidney disease. So at this stage, if we detect kidney disease, it's possible to intervene give suitable drugs, modify lifestyle changes and prevent the unfortunate need for dialysis or kidney transplantation. So the trust is now launching the early disease program. The early disease program 
does not just involve detection of the disease at its early stage. So it involves detection followed by intervention which will be in terms of specific drugs or lifestyle modifications followed by monitoring of these patients. In 1994 April, I got transplanted and my mother donated the kidney to me. Since then, I was uh, taking regular medications under the advice of Dr. Rajan Ravichandran and I am on a regular follow. And uh, with God's grace, I am now okay and uh, my transplanted kidney is functioning well. Somebody develops chronic kidney disease requiring dialysis or kidney transplantation, he approximately spends 15 to 20 lakhs over the next 10 years and his quality of life is also inferior to a normal person. Whereas if we are able to prevent this condition by the early disease program which involves as I said detection, intervention and monitoring, we can provide a much better quality of life at a fraction of the cost. Uh, my early symptoms were puffiness around my eyes and swelling around my ankle and uh, I thought it was just something uh, and I let it go by for a couple of days and it got worse and then one of my uh, friends who's a doctor asked me to take a blood and a urine test which immediately showed that uh, there was a high level of albumin in my urine. The early, uh, the test taken that early actually helped me to be referred to a nephrologist and the treatment thereon. This is 10 years now since uh, this happened and I am completely normal, I have no medication and I do, uh, I even uh, perform on stage, I do, uh, I, I learned, I learned Bharatanatyam after I got better and I gave me Arangetram and now I continue giving performances on stage and I do manage a business also. My life is perfectly normal now. What we want to do in the early disease program is to spread the message to nook and corner of this country to almost every individual that chronic kidney disease is without symptoms. It can be detected in an early stage by simple tests of protein loss in the urine and once it is detected we, can, we have specific drugs to prevent further progression of the disease. According to WHO estimates India will have a whopping 80 million kidney patients in a couple of decades, the highest in the world. And it will cost over a hundred trillion rupees to treat them. If we act now, we can avert this huge financial and health catastrophe. The lives of future generations are in our hands today. So let's join hands and make India a healthier and wealthier nation.